In Formula 1, the rules are frequently updated, and these rule updates almost have an immediate and direct effect on the performance of F1 teams. The new rules for 2024 will shake things up again. What new regulations am I talking about? Stay tuned to find out. Since the mid-1980s, tyre blankets have been a part of Formula 1. However, by 2024, they will be a thing of the past. Formula 1 car tyres are often covered using tyre blankets for two primary reasons. These reasons are both technical and strategic in nature. When it comes to the strategic aspect, the tyres are typically covered to conceal the precise tyres being utilised by that team from the teams competing against them. On the other hand, for the technical aspect, tyre covers are employed to keep an ideal tyre temperature. These covers allow the tyres to maintain the optimal temperature for a certain track and perform at their highest possible level. Insulation material and house electric heating elements are typically used in the manufacturing process of tyre blankets. Because a tyre's grip improves with increasing temperature, these covers incorporate technology that works from the inside to keep the tyres at a comfortable temperature until the final push for qualification or the start of the race. Moreover, the tyre blankets used in Formula 1 have another purpose, which has to do with the air pressure in the tyres. Changes in tyre temperature in general cause the tyres on Formula 1 cars to either lose or gain a certain degree of grip. This, in turn, will either lower or higher the automobile to some degree. If the temperature is high, the pressure will also be high, resulting in an elevated ride for the driver. In Formula 1, the concept of prohibiting the use of tyre blankets has been discussed for years. This was supposed to take place with the transition to 18-inch wheel rims, which took place this year, but it was pushed to 2024 instead. Before that, there was also the intention to get rid of tyre blankets in 2015 for financial reasons. However, this plan was scrapped due to safety concerns. There's still time for the 2024 ban to be dropped, but there's no sign of that happening. In spite of the fact that Pirelli has not yet begun development work for 2024, there has already been some incremental progress in that direction. For example, the maximum temperature of the tyre blanket has been lowered to 70 degrees Celsius from the previous year's maximum of 100 degrees Celsius for the front and 80 degrees Celsius for the rear. That was at the proposal of Pirelli in order to create a glide path to the ban on tyre warmers, which will continue into the following year with another 20 degrees Celsius drops to a maximum temperature of 50 degrees Celsius for the blankets. It's a sensible move that tackles the concern about banning tyre blankets. The major concern was the safety repercussions of the lack of grip during the warm-up phase. Mario Asola, president of Pirelli's Formula 1 division, stated it was our request to do that step by step because it is a big change for the construction and the compound. There is a common idea that we just need to design different compounds and everything is fixed. It's not like that because with these cars and their performance, we estimate an increase in pressure from cold to hot that could be more than 12 psi and that makes the footprint completely different. You're enjoying this video, right? You definitely don't want to miss out on other amazing videos. So all you have to do is hit the subscription button. It's that easy. Thanks for doing that. Let's move on. Regarding the design of these tires, Pirelli will need to adopt a completely new strategy. The maker of the tires used in Formula 1 faces the monumental challenge of developing these tires. Isola continued, you cannot start at a very low pressure because you destroy the tyre in a few corners. You need to start with a pressure that is the minimum acceptable for the tyre, then copy with the period in which the pressure is growing, then stabilising. But that means we would probably have to start at 20 psi or something like that, and then you go up to more than 30 psi. So it's a completely different situation, and we have to design a new construction in order to make the footprint a lot more stable with the change in pressure. Running F1 tyres at 30 psi is not a viable option, as this is getting close to the minimum pressure threshold for F1 hatchbacks. For now, Pirelli is only conducting testing on the 2023 tyres. These have already been approved for the most part, and Pirelli feels that some aspects of the tyre test program for the year 23 will be applicable for the year 24 rubber. However, the bulk of the work will start next year. Given their considerable contribution to the car's overall aerodynamics, it is hoped that the shape of the blanketless tyres would not be significantly altered. So the desire is to achieve the characteristics needed primarily with the construction and compounds. The key here is not surface temperature, but the temperature within the compound and in the core. Isola said, we are working mainly on the materials and the geometry more than the profile, because when you change the profile, you have a big impact on the downforce of the car. 
It is clear that when you change some elements in the construction, even if you don't change the whole profile, you have a slight change in the tire itself. But usually this is limited. So we are working with some new concepts in order to minimize these changes. To avoid any change is impossible. To minimize it is what we are trying to do. Pirelli is not overly concerned with the weight of the cars, but they are aware that the car's rigid and low to the ground design does influence the tires. However, this should be well understood by the time the 2024 Pirelli tires have to be finalized. The performance of the tires throughout important stages of the race is what ultimately decides who wins. Since the refueling procedure was banned in 2010, the undercut has typically been the method of choice for drivers seeking to advance their positions during pit stop phases. With rare exceptions, the value of running longer is in building a significant offset in tire age or striking out for a different strategy. That could alter due to the blanket ban on tires, which would make one lap overcuts more viable. Isola continued, to make a proper prediction is not easy, but I can imagine that we would have a warm-up phase that would be longer. The strategy will be different, but to give you a proper answer on how different, it's a bit early. Although there is little evidence to suggest that the decrease in the tire blanket temperatures has substantially impacted the pit stop stages this year, it is likely that it has made the warm-up phase a little more challenging. But depending on the characteristics of the new tires, the impact on strategy could be anything from minor to profound. What does need to be resolved is exactly what teams will or will not be allowed to do with their tires. The laws that are in place now specify that blankets are the only type of tire warming equipment that is authorized. And it is quite likely that the regulations that will be in place in 2024 will simply indicate that no tire warming devices are permitted. He continued by saying, in Formula One a few years ago, they were using the heat of the brakes to warm the tires. We probably also need to find a new system to control the minimum pressure because with all these changes, it is not easy to use the system that we have in place now. I believe that tire regulation when we are going to avoid blankets will be another important discussion that we need to do with the FIA and the teams. On the other hand, it is highly likely that some further guidelines regarding what may and cannot be done will need to be developed. Isola is of the opinion that it will be vital to get these properly in addition to other methods of monitoring the characteristics of the tires. This would most likely include certain guidelines for the temperature of the tires needing to be within a particular range of the ambient temperature, which is similar to the standards that regulate the fuel temperature, but the specifics of how they will be framed are still in the air. What's clear is there's still a long way to go in the development of the 2024 tires. However, the tire blanket temperature drop glide path is a practical way to approach the problem. And it should guarantee that the safety concerns that are typically associated with such moves will at least be alleviated. But in terms of how much of an effect it will have on the racing, aside from the fact that it is anticipated that it will have an effect around pit stops, as well as on the way tyres are prepared for qualifying, the answer to that question won't start to emerge until the teams are able to test something that is relatively close to the finished product for 2024. In addition to the new tyre regulation that will take effect in 2024, the official tyre supplier for Formula 1, Pirelli, has plans to introduce redesigned tyres for the 2023 season. These tyres will be intended to combat the prevalent understeer associated with the new generation of cars, particularly when turning at low speeds. What is your thought about these new tyre regulations for the 2024 season? Let me know in the comment section below. That will be all for today's video. Thanks for staying tuned. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and notification bell so that you can always get to watch more amazing videos like this. See you in the next video.